production possibility frontier, or PPF, shows the possible combinations of two goods that can be produced using all an economy's resources. Let's see how this works. Increasing a given quantity of capital goods, x0, to x1, leads to a small loss of consumer goods, y12, to y11. The opportunity cost is y1. Increasing x by a further given amount, x1 to x2, leads to a loss of two units of y, y11 to y9, with the opportunity cost of 2y. Increasing capital goods from x2 to x3 creates an opportunity cost of 3y. And finally, increasing capital goods to x4 creates an opportunity cost of 6y. Opportunity cost increases as more goods are produced. PPFs can be used to illustrate the idea of efficiency. All points on a PPF are equally efficient. However, they may not all be as equally desirable. Point B may be preferred to point C, as it contains much more consumer goods, leading to a higher current standard of living. However, point C may be preferable in that, with more capital goods, the economy can grow and produce more consumer goods at point X. The PPF shifts outwards as a result of increased capital spending. PPFs can be used to illustrate unemployment. Let's see how. All points on a PPF are equally efficient and attainable. Point D is not currently attainable as it lies outside the existing PPF. Point E is attainable but inefficient. It is possible to have X2 and more of Y and to have Y6 and more of X. Point E implies that there are unemployed resources in the economy. So why are PPFs non-linear? The law of diminishing marginal returns gives us a clue. Assuming only two goods or sectors, as more of one is produced, in this case, financial services, resources must be transferred from the other sector, in this case, farm produce, the expansion of the financial sector requires factors, including labour, to move from agriculture. At first, those factors best suited to transferring to the financial sector leave agriculture and move to the expanding financial services industry. This leaves those best suited to agriculture where they are. But as financial services continue to expand, less suitable workers and other factors must move across, meaning the gains from transferring diminish. So, graphically, if we're expanding financial services in uniform amounts, more and more of the less efficient workers in agriculture are required to keep output of financial services increasing at a uniform rate.